What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I want to show you a brand new jailbreak tweak called Switchability. And you could probably tell from the name that it combines the app switcher with the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus's reachability view. And you can access this by means of a double press on the Touch ID sensor, which is located right here. So you just double tap that Touch ID sensor like that, and that brings up Switchability like this. And Switchability, as you can see, places the app switcher, or at least a form of the app switcher, right in reachability view. This doesn't look like your normal app switcher. It's more of an app switcher inspired by the uh, tab interface in the Safari browser, but nonetheless, it performs like an app switcher. So that means you can tap on one of these apps and switch to that app just by tapping there, and that will switch to the app store. Uh, and I can open up the switchability view again and I can switch to something else if I want to do that. So I'll switch to the calculator app. How about that? And you can do that. And you can also perform a swipe to dismiss just like you can with the, uh, the app switcher or the tab view in the Safari browser. So I'm going to swipe to dismiss just like that and you can get those out of the way. And you can go back to your home screen just by tapping the home screen card just like that. So switchability, basically, like you, like we said initially, it combines the app switcher with reachability, although the app switcher is modified and it works very much like the tab interface that you find in Safari. Now, there are several different settings that you see here, actually lots of settings. There's a favorite app setting, so you can access a favorite app of your choice. So I'm going to change that to, hmm, let's find a favorite app. Let's make the speed test app? Uh, how about the, I don't know, let's find an app here. Uh, Overcast, how about that? Let's choose the Overcast app as our favorite app, and let me show you how that works. I'm just going to double tap on the uh, Touch ID sensor, and you see the little plus button in the uh, bottom right hand corner of the reachability view. If you tap that plus, that will load up your favorite app and there you go. There is my favorite app, the Overcast app by Marco Armit. Uh, so let's go back to the settings here. And you also have this little reach size slider. So if you turn that all the way down here, you can turn it down to 33. You'll notice that the reachability view is much smaller with it all the way down like that. And you can turn it all the way up if you want to. And you'll see the reachability view take up the entire interface, basically, just like that. So obviously you probably don't want to make it take up the entire interface, but maybe you do. I like to keep it right around 65, which is about the default setting there. Um, then there's behavior, so you can have it stay for unlimited time until you dismiss the uh, switchability view. You have auto dismiss. You have cards. If you turn those cards off, basically that get r gets rid of the app switcher, which is kind of, uh, why would you want to do that? I don't know, but maybe you do. Uh, you can turn on the standard vertical layout, which will get rid of the 3D view. So you just have each app card on top of each other like that. You can still dismiss like that if you want to. Mm, not a huge fan of that, but you know, it's going to be up to you. Obviously you can customize it how you like it. Then there's other settings like spacing, initial springboard view, titles. If you want to have titles above each app card. I don't particularly like that, so I have that off. And then there's home button, so you can make it a just a double touch on the reachability or the uh, touch ID sensor. If you just double touch it, that will open up the switchability view. Or you can absolutely just completely replace the app switcher gesture, which is a double press on the home button, and that will invoke switchability as well. So uh, it's going to be up to you how you want to configure this, but as you see, there are lots of settings in switchability. Now, there are some problems with this uh, with this tweak that I find. Number one, there is a little delay. At least I find a little delay when I invoke switchability, uh, and that delay can be you know, somewhat annoying if you just want to quickly get to your app switcher. Another thing I noticed is that the resolution of some of the app cards just doesn't look that great. Um, and maybe this was done, you know, to to speed up the tweak. You don't have these high resolution renders of these uh, app cards, but it doesn't look that great when the resolution is real low. It makes the text harder to read and the images just look a little blurrier. Now, last but not least, there is this X button in the bottom left hand corner. If you tap that X button here, that will basically you know, get rid of switchability view and close out all the, or the current app that you're in. And um, that way you can close that current app. So let me just show you that. Let's go back to Safari. 
and that is iDownloadBlog's website. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to double tap on the Touch ID sensor. And now if I hit the X button, watch what happens. It's going to close out of Safari completely. And also, it's going to close out of Switchability view. So that way, when I go back to Switchability, you don't see any Safari because it's gone. So that is one option that you have if you want to close out the current app. So ladies and gentlemen, it is Switchability. It is a jailbreak tweak that combines the reachability view with the app switcher. It is a good tweak. I do like it. It does have some opportunities for improvement with regard to speed and with regard to the uh, resolution of the app cards. They're kind of a low resolution app card and that would be better if that was you know updated to, to look uh, sharp and I have a higher resolution. But other than that, this is a really good tweak for iPhone 6 and 6 Plus users. More devices will be coming soon. More device compatibility will be coming down the pipeline soon. Uh, but for right now, switchability is a decent tweak. It's $1.99 on Cydia's Big Boss Repo. Has plenty of room to grow. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.